Hello guys, welcome back to a new Black Desert mobile video. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you uh, why farming is very important in Black Desert mobile and where to farm, what to farm to do well in this game guys. As you can see right here, first thing, I'm farming for Edana coins guys. You want to farm Edana coins because they are super important. You wanna see what you can get with them. So I'm gonna show you the location where I farm for Redana, okay? Uh, also, when you farm for Redana, you want to use all bless sand, this one, okay? To move faster. Uh, you want to use uh, a location where you can have like uh, at least two, if not three shrines. Here I use three shrines, you're gonna see. And use your stronger skills and skills that you can move faster. And another thing, guys, as you so I don't have to click to gather the shrine. I'm using the skill. There is a skill that you get. Oops, where is it? A skill that you get from the fairy. So you want to equip uh, this. No, no, no. Wait. Where is the? This is sorry. Max level. Okay. Black rock altar uh, auto offering. Every 30 seconds, it auto. See gets the gets the loot what you can get you get as you can see i get i get from 100 3000 close to 2000 edana you get also um chaos crystals you get uh, fragments like relic fragments lightstone fragments which you know are very important to get lightstones to get um the precious um lightstone light household light and lightstone this holy vials okay the holy vials so you can farm more in the chaos maps and uh, the other maps okay uh, so yeah these are the i'm gonna show on the map also the exact location so these are the three shrines let's go also again to the first one so this is my rotation in here you have plenty of other options so if this is not available you can go to the other ones where is it on the map is right here guys see on the top right there the tree okay right there so this is the pvp area okay pvp area of the oops what am i doing what did i do i pressed something wrong <laughs> okay so let's get the shine and guys what you need the dana for definitely to use in the black rock shrine you can get also these reminiscent crystals besides the light stones the chaos crystals and the uh, relic fragments okay uh, and you get edana edana it's very very important resource because you can use it at the shrine to get lots of boss stamps lots of uh, ancient tablets which you know they are very good to farm cp from the knowledge from the boss knowledge to farm black pearls as you know you get lots of black pearls and uh, silver you get silver you get enhancement materials um, also uh, what else you get from the black rock shrines and also you, you should use it at uh, this when it's to car later okay because uh, in there usually you don't need to use the tent or consume don't consume water okay while you offer every uh sunday i think or monday every monday i think yeah every monday so use the uh, to car Layton shrine and then use the other ones also uh, and use your edana also with edana you know you can buy the new luminescent crystals which you need guys to enhance to enhance your um runes okay enhance runes so you need luminescent crystals and you can buy from the merchant that appears at the random at the random on the maps so you need also dana coins for that uh, what else you can get from the black rock shrines uh, you can get chaos crystals okay you can get also um what else ah condensed dark energy to level up your black spirit uh, so let's go to chaos crystals uh, yes. Oh, not last stone, not last stone, sorry. If you want to enhance here, see, chaos crystals, and you get lots of CP from here if you level up. Um, 
what else guys you can uh, get condensed dark energy to level up your black spirit already told you that okay so now you saw the location for farming edana and i told you why edana it's very important you want to farm as much as possible manually okay if you cannot do it manually at least guys at least do the expedition the valor okay don't let don't don't let the water go away waste okay the water is very important so at least go in here okay um but manually will be preferred okay you can get now it's very easy to farm see 1900 edana and also condensed dark energy it's very easy now to farm edana okay uh let's see what else you should farm guys okay so um what other possibilities another thing that you should farm guys especially if you want to get if you watch my previous video to get to oct your gear okay and that will give you tons of cp well guys you need you need enhancement materials you need enhancement materials um also restoration those are a bit harder to get now uh, so what you need to do guys and also for your um, accessories to craft chaos accessories and enhance them also you get lots of cp you want to do the rifts the chaos rifts now they are more chaos rifts than before a lot more uh, it starts i think from here if i'm not mistaken let me see you have two in here this is for two twenty four thousand cp and chaos rifts guys what you get root of sorcery you can get chaos jewels you can get very important the crowds a crowds very important to enhance your chaos gear you want the crowds blazing chaos crystals and this chest chaos loot chaos rift loot chest guys i'm gonna show you what you can get uh, also a crowds and definitely lapis lazulis and um secret book pages to craft chaos accessory and to enhance them and also other materials and accessories so chaos rifts also are very important there are different levels for them uh, for example the highest level <coughs> right now is in the gun map so don't miss guys don't miss on chaos especially if you're new you'll need those the highest is 48,000 as you can see you can get even unknown primal memory so yeah and you get Trigan loot also which is nice so you get also besides the relics you can get a bit of relics besides the chaos loot rift chaos rift loot chest you get also this Trigan loot chest if you are in this map okay in the other maps i'm not sure so you'll want guys <coughs> to farm chaos rift to get the materials to craft the accessories and the acrods and other stuff to um enhance your chaos gear to oct and also the accessories uh, okay so uh, let's see what you can get besides because i have a few of them 145 chaos rift loot chest and then i'm gonna show you okay so you can get guys you can get advanced experience scrolls to level up you can get also chaos cores lots of them chaos crystals get glyphs and shadow notes that you need guys you need to farm the bow stamps the boss rushes sorry okay now as you can see i have plenty shikran legacy chest and drigan loot chest where are those 46,000 Drigan loot chest so that means guys farming uh in the chaos maps farming in the um these are the um, Hadoom maps, Chaos maps, okay? All these maps, depending on your CP, okay? Depending on why it is. Uh, Kama Silvia and Drigan. Me, I farm in Drigan now, okay? Try to farm as much as possible. Don't do it FK. Uh, sorry, don't do it um, Black Spirit mode. But uh, if you cannot do it a man, uh, FK, FK mode means to go. A safe location and let the 
your character farm in there while you do other stuff okay it will farm afk mode black spirit mode it's another option you can mix the two the fk mode with the black spirit auto hunt you can use the combat black spirit plus okay and you'll get up to eight hours of loot farming farming outside the game okay so you just use the black spirit mode it's better than not farming at all but the best will be afk farming using also all the um, soups chicken soups and all of those use the hot times when there is hot time use them all of those so you get guys you'll see what you can get from all those chests me i farmed for this this ones that i got in dragon 46,000 dragon loot chest you're gonna see what i can get and also you get in dragon you get two types of chest and this ones shirikan legacy this gives even more interesting materials more rare materials uh, I farmed for the last two or three months for them, I think, something like that. So yeah, also another thing guys, another thing, don't forget to farm, because I'm going to open those, you're going to see. Don't forget to farm the bosses guys, all these bosses, see, I f kind of forgot. They all give important materials like Tangled Time, Secret Loot Pages, Chaos Crystals, Ancient Scrap Glyphs, and other, this one gives can give you also uh, crystals, acrad crystals, uh, acrad relics, root of sorcery. So each of these boss, this one, is also a Dana and other stuff. So each of these bosses, this new one also gives a crad, uh, root of sorcery. See, so all these materials, and then you have also besides these bosses in here, uh, you'll have more if you're a new player because. In order to unlock the, um, where is it, Ayali Rift, where you have more bosses, so farm all of them, you can do them all in the weekend, okay, because you get, as you can see, you get Ayali fragments, which you need to craft gear, okay, all types of gear, you need them for the dimensional crystals, you can get even gear, like even I, I never got but yeah you can get valves you can get different materials you can get from the hadoom ones you can get uh let's see which one gives i forgot even bow stamps chaos crystals so farm all these bosses because they will give you some uh, important materials the most important i would say are the the ily okay you need those okay um what else what else should you, you should farm definitely do your merchantry guys merchantry uh where is and don't forget about the cops co bosses okay can give you a cross root of sorcery uh abyssal fluid dimension fragments this is also a newer version of the same boss i mean it's different boss but it's an upgraded version let's say with more CP requirements and better loot uh, and like I told you guys um, you'll want also to do your merchantry merchantry and the towers towers do all of them uh, you can get extra tickets for the towers what they can give you definitely they can give you boss stamps ancient tablets they can give you dark coins silver enhancement materials um, the chaos one more dark coins to give you adventure tokens which are very important chaos crystals so f do them farm them every day you can do them okay and if you have more entries which i'm gonna show you from where you can get also you can get tears of goddess and very important root of source of course quite very important and other ili and other enhancement materials so uh, the towers and guys do the merchantry if you don't do it manually do dispatch mode like here you can get black pearl chest lots of them you can get condensed dark energy fragments all kinds of fragments you can get uh, essences and magical residue you can get lots of important stuff okay that you need you need and it adds up guys 
and it's very good for farming black pearls also especially if you do I think manual get even more uh, okay uh, what else so that this the towers the map chantry scout is good okay if you want to boost your CP from the knowledge you can get lots of CP from all these zones all this area especially on the chaos Hadoom maps lots of CP to gain from there so you can do that or you can farm with your character okay once you switch the zones when you uh, max the knowledge from each one uh, what else <coughs> definitely do the path of glory why emblem it's a very very good way to increase your CP just to see just to see how much CP and I don't have the chaos one 4278 plus you get other enhancement materials Boom. like so path of glory you want to do you can do the seven runs because every day you get an extra run you can buy extra with black pearls from the shop uh, and what you can get uh, statues for silver you can get en enhancement materials condensed dark energy uh, badges to enhance your um, uh, emblems and other stuff so yeah do also you have seven runs per week at least okay for free plus the extra that you can buy do the path of glory every week okay um, what else and definitely guys don't forget about trials trials of author this is related to how you can get the extra entries these tickets let's see how many I have right now I think I have like uh, they are in chest I'm gonna show you where they are trials of author you can get from doing the in um, the wait these are okay so this gives three each I have 42 and this one gives six uh, nine each I have six working at those from farming in the desert the all these um, temples okay I did so do them every month they reset do them because you get also Edana and other enhancement materials uh, and all this that you can find in here you can get also the runes but so you get the entries for trials of author you can get lots of cp also lots of cp okay so um, what else did i forgot pvp i don't do much okay uh, but if you have time do pvp i don't care that much about pvp nowadays the boss rushes and all uh, like uh, what else the ancient ruins you do when you have enough both sands and ancient tablets and don't forget if you want silver guys if you want silver you do the pirate island you get 10 tickets every week if you want silver and if you want tears of goddess to increase um, the shrine there is a shrine uh, in there to increase the CP in there definitely you'll want to do those okay and now let's see uh, for example I think I have lots of uh, entries in there let me see how many have and you want to see uh, I have so many stuff in here ah, 117 of course pirate island so I'll gain lots of silver from these ones because I'm gonna show you again you now what is the most important from there okay from the expeditions is this pirate golden telescope okay 25 million each and you get lots of them so lots of silver if you run out of silver you know why you don't do this and you can do 10 runs every week okay you get the 10 from the weekly from here defeat consume one hour of purify water and from defeating 50,000 enemy 5 and 5 okay and now let's see how many guys let's see how many uh, resources I gained from farming I farm, farm like two three months in the gun map let's see the gun loot chest 46,000 oh 20,000 another 20,000 lost stamps another 30 f no 20,000 another 20 so that's 80,000 close to 100,000 boss stamps adventure tokens as you can see this I think also 100,000 plus 
Oh, Condensed Dark Energy, Aeli, uh, Light Stones, What else? Magical Essences, Enhancement Materials like this one, you need the Crystals, uh, Abyssal Crystals, Skills, uh, Boss and Sanction Tablets and Virtual Tokens. So plenty, I have 2400 Chaos Crystals. What else? You gain lots and lots. 7400. That's really nice. Yeah, uh, 13,000 Abyssal Condensed Dark Energy, 354, this one, this I have, okay, from before, okay. Let's see, let's see from this one, Sh Shrekan Legacy, 20, almost 28,000, also from the gun map, from farming, FK, oh wow, wow, oh my gosh. So as you can see in this one, you can get lots of Shadow Notes to farm the Hadoom bosses, uh you get totems you get lots of chaos cores you're gonna see how many to craft chaos jewels you know they are very important inscribed glyphs pages again glyphs and lots of advanced ex experience scrolls to level up your character so let's see i have 43 now secret book 56 lapis lazulis 13,500 abyss condensed all energy, 33,000 advanced experience scrolls. Mm, let's see what else. Almost 6,000 shadow notes. Uh, and also, let's see, totems 5,300. Lots and lots of materials, guys. So these are, in my opinion, the best thing that you should do in this game, guys. And I explain you why, plus other stuff, extra stuff. But these are very important. Okay, you try to do these ones. So let me know which ones of these ones and other ones you think are most important. Are you doing them? Until next time, see you and bye.